That is a lot of lighting. And then on top of that, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great week so far. I just got back from my Colorado trip, went there to celebrate my birthday and rented some snowmobiles. Had a freaking awesome time. Check out that video in case you have not had a chance to do so. But today we are gonna be working on my Razer MX650 mini enduro project. On the last video, we installed some LED strip lighting all around the backside of the frame to make it more visible at night. But to make it more ready for some nighttime writing, today we're gonna to be installing an LED headlight. And it is gonna be 12 volt, and this bike is like 52 volts. So I'm gonna be installing a voltage step down uh, converter. So the same process is gonna to apply to most razors. Doesn't matter what battery you have since the voltage step down controller I have is gonna be compatible with 36 or 72 volt. So if you wanna learn how to do that, stay tuned. Let's get started. So these are all the items that we're gonna be using for today's project. This is just a generic light switch meant for a 7 8 handlebar. Same one I use on all my bikes. This is a Pro Chaser voltage step down converter. I misspoke earlier, it's actually 48 to 72 volts. So if you have a modded razor, most likely this will work for you. And um, it's rated for 10 amp max. So I'm gonna be using a 10 amp inline fuse as well. And then this is the light that we're gonna be using. This is by Nylite. It's the same brand that I always use like on my cars and on my bikes been very reliable. I have not had an issue with a single failure and I've used these four. I've used four sets of these. Uh, so each kit comes with two, but obviously we're only using one for this bike. I might save the other one for another bike later on along with the extra switch. I think I got all this for like not even 40 bucks. And then um, just tools, just wire strippers, crimpers, 14 gauge wiring and a multi-pack of connectors. We're only gonna be using 14 gauge for today. Here's that LED lighting that I was referring to that I installed on the last video. It's got all sorts of different modes and color options. But um, first step for installing the headlight is to strip down the plastic so we can gain access to the electronics. Please ignore how dirty the bike is. Just haven't had time to clean it since we last took it out. But first step is gonna to be to disconnect the power source. In my case, I have an aftermarket lithium battery. So it's just one big plug. And then we're gonna be tapping into these two wires going to the controller uh, as a power source for the voltage step-down controller, just positive and negative. Yours should look very similar to this if you have a brushless motor setup. If you still have a factory brushed motor and controller combo, <clears throat> still gonna be similar process. Just look for the positive and negative wire going to the controller. Next step is to fully mount the headlight onto the triple tree, then mount the light switch on the handlebar so we can get a general idea on how we're gonna route the wiring and how much we're gonna have to extend everything. Then we'll work on installing this. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly go over what we just did here. It's much simpler than it looks. This is just the power wire that we unplugged from the battery. This is what was supplying power to the controller. 
We're just gonna be teeing off of it to supply power and ground to the step-down converter. This ground wire actually goes all the way to the headlight. I just have the ground from the converter teed into it. This power wire is supplying 52 volts to this red wire going into the converter. And then the yellow wire coming out of the converter is feeding 12 volts to the headlight. And I just have a 10 amp uh, inline fuse hooked up to that wire. Before I clean up all this wiring, I want to quickly go over how the switch is hooked up. So this is the power and ground wire coming from the voltage step-down converter. The ground wire just hooks up to the black wire on the headlight. And then the red wire goes to the switch actually. So there's two wires coming out of the switch. One's an input and one's an output. The output just goes straight to the red wire, supplies power to the headlight. So all the switch does is either complete a circuit, it completes this circuit when you turn it on, or it breaks the circuit when you turn it off. That's all it is. And here's how the controller looks all tied up. We just gotta plug it in, test it out, make sure everything works before we clean it up. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Theory, it works. That is, that is bright. Just to give you guys an idea how bright this light is, look at that. That is a lot of lighting. That's likely the brightest light you've seen on a razor. Show me otherwise. And then on top of that, we still got all this other other lighting options so this thing is definitely bright and visible ready for some night riding all right guys this bike now has all the lighting that i was looking for but i'm not going to put it back together just yet i've still got some additional work i want to do to it before we do that but i will leave a link in the description below for all the parts that i use for this project in case you're interested in checking that out also, let me know what you guys think of the garage so far. Uh, I recently did the flooring and added some lighting. Uh, additional insulation. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, but if you found today's video helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.